All right, parents and students, this is Mr. Sears with the Blackman Middle School Band, and I'm going to give you a little troubleshooting information on how to get your blue snowball microphone to work with smart music. Now, I'm using a Windows PC here in the band room, uh, so it's got Windows 10 on it, so if you have a Windows PC, this will be a similar thing for you. So just follow these simple instructions. First of all, USB cable. So we got to make sure the USB cable is plugged into a functioning USB port on your machine. So Mr. England's machine is down here on the floor. So I plugged it in. You hear the little sound that shows you that it has been recognized as a microphone. Okay, you can also tell the microphone's on because now the light that's on top of the microphone is lit up. From here, I'm going to log in to Smart Music. Notice I'm using Google Chrome. It will only work on Google Chrome. If you come to this screen, you have the option of classic smart music or new smart music. We are using new smart music, so make sure you click on that. And then once everything loads up, it's going to ask you for a username and password. For students, their username is BMS and their first and last name. No spaces. For their password, Everyone's password is going to be BMS capitalized and then flames lowercase. So once again, their username is going to be BMS, their first and last name, and their password is capital BMS lowercase flames. Now when you log in, it'll take you to your home screen. They can see stuff like their assignments and things of that nature. For right now, since I'm in our director's portal, I'm just going to open up an assignment so you guys can see um, sort of how this works. So let's just use this 1812 thing right here. This looks good. All right, I'm going to open it up and take a look. And here we go. It's opening and loading. So once it gets to the next screen, we are going to have to select the microphone and make sure that the microphone is being used properly by smart music. You can see right there, ASM smart music wants to use your microphone. Click allow for the microphone to be active. If your browser didn't recognize the microphone when it was plugged in, click up here where it says secure. That'll pop up and it'll give you the option to allow or disallow your microphone. You want to make sure the microphone is allowed or else the blue snowball will not work. When you first log on to Smart Music, you're going to be on a screen called Tracks. In order to get to microphone settings, you're going to have to switch over to the assessment screen. Once assessment has been selected, you'll look over to the right side and you'll see Calibrate Mic. If you click Calibrate Mic, this menu pops up. It asks you to unplug your headphones and turn your volume on. The computer will play a sound that your speakers, uh, uh, through your speakers, and it will be picked up by your microphone and it'll sound like this. Once it has done that, your microphone is now set for your student to record. Smart Music encourages you to plug your headphones in again so that they will work properly and your student can have the best success as possible. Another place you can check to make sure your microphone's working on is in your computer settings. So go down there to the Windows button and click on the settings, which is the icon that looks like a little wheel. When settings open up, it's going to ask you to look at a few different things. You want to click devices. Under devices, Bluetooth and other devices, right here, Bluetooth and other devices, and then you go down, audio should be blue snowball. If it's not the blue snowball, then that's not the microphone that you're using. So make sure blue snowball is active. If you ever want to remove it, you can click it and you can remove the device.